broccoli salad is a popular side dish to serve at summer barbecues and holiday gatherings. I'll show you how to properly cook the florets and my time-saving tips. Plus, you're going to love the creamy yogurt dressing that has a sweet and tangy flavor. The star of this dish is fresh broccoli and it's really easy to prepare. I'm going to take these beautiful stalks and break them down into bite-sized pieces for the salad. All you have to do is take a paring knife and cut a half to one inch off of the stem. We want the pieces to be small enough so it's easy to grab with a fork. These little parts are called buds and they come in clusters. So when we cut them down into smaller pieces, they form the floret. I don't know why, but my kids will only eat this top portion, but the stem is totally edible as well. I actually like to peel off some of this tough fibrous outer part and grate it for like a coleslaw or even chop it up for a stir fry. If you come across a large piece like this, slice it down the middle in half lengthwise. You can also buy pre-packaged broccoli that's already been cut into florets, but if there's any big pieces, just make sure to cut them down. We need one pound, about six cups. In a large pot, bring two quarts or eight cups of water to a boil over high heat. Add one teaspoon of salt, stir to dissolve. In a medium bowl, add one quart or four cups of cold water and four cups of ice. Set aside to use as an ice water bath. Raw broccoli has a really tough and fibrous texture and sulfurous taste. Luckily, I learned a technique in culinary school called the Blanche and Shock Method. It involves using seasoned hot boiling water to quickly cook the broccoli and then plunging it into an ice cold water bath to cool it down. I've already prepared the ice water bath with four cups of water and four cups of ice, so it's ready to go when the broccoli is done cooking. Add one pound of the broccoli florets to the boiling water. Cook until bright green and crisp tender, about one to two minutes. The ice water bath is going to immediately halt the cooking process, preventing the broccoli from becoming mushy while retaining its bright green color. Let it sit for about five minutes until completely cooled down. Drain the florets in a colander. Shake to remove the excess water. Set aside. Heat a large skillet over medium heat. To add a savory and smoky element to the salad, fry up some bacon. We need two slices of thick cut pieces. However, if you want to save yourself some time, I really like to make a big tray and roast it in the oven. That way you can make it about seven days in advance and just chop it up when you're ready to use it. Add two slices of bacon. Cook until crispy, about three to four minutes per side. Transfer to a paper towel lined plate to drain the excess fat. To create interesting flavors and textures in the salad, add some mix-ins. I have the cooled bacon. Chop it into small pieces. We want little bursts of savory notes, so don't make the bacon pieces too chunky. This looks good, nice and crispy. <laughs> Dried cranberries are going to add this concentrated sweetness and a hint of tartness. Chop them up into smaller pieces. You could also use dried cherries, apricots, or raisins. We need one third cup. Red onions are going to add a nice crunch and freshness. Cut off the top. Cut the root end, leaving it intact. Cut in half lengthwise. Okay. Peel off the skin. Place the hand on top, then cut through the center lengthwise, making a quarter inch thick slices. Then cut down into a quarter inch thick strips. Turn and cut into a quarter inch thick dice. If you need to, just make a couple rough chops to make this pieces even smaller. We don't want the onion pieces too big. Might be a little overpowering for the salad. <laughs> this looks good. We need one third cup. To add some extra protein to the salad, I like to use some sharp cheddar cheese. This is two ounces, cut into quarter inch thick pieces. You can use other firm cheeses like smoked Gouda or mozzarella. 
stack some pieces on top of each other and then cut down into quarter inch strips. Turn and cut into quarter inch dice. The little burst of flavor from the cheese adds this really nice fermented saltiness to the dish. In a large serving bowl, I've added the blanched and drained broccoli. Make sure to remove as much excess water as possible to prevent it from diluting the salad dressing. For quicker preparation, you can cook the broccoli two days ahead of time. Just store it in an airtight container in the refrigerator until ready to use. Add the chopped bacon. This is about a quarter cup. A third cup of the chopped cranberries. I love a sweet and salty combination. A third cup of crunchy sunflower seeds. You could also use pepitas, almonds, or chopped walnuts. A third cup of the chopped red onion, and two ounces of the chopped cheese. This is about a half a cup. I'm going to set this aside and prepare the salad dressing. To make a creamy dressing, I'm gonna start by adding a half a cup of Greek yogurt. This is non-fat, but you can use low fat or full fat if you'd like for a richer consistency and texture. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise for some extra richness. Olive oil can be used as well. Two tablespoons of red wine vinegar for pungency. Apple cider vinegar is a good substitute. Two tablespoons of honey for sweetness. Pure maple syrup works well too. One tablespoon of water just to dilute the consistency a little bit so that it can pour onto the salad. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Whisk this till everything is smooth and combined. The consistency should be thick enough to cling onto the vegetables. This looks good. For the finishing touch, drizzle about half of the dressing over the broccoli salad. I like to serve the rest on the side so that guests could add as much as they want later. Toss everything to combine, and if some of the smaller pieces fall to the bottom of the bowl, just grab them from the bottom and mix it in on top. Make sure to taste the salad and season with a little bit more salt and pepper if you'd like. Right before serving, I like to add more pop of color, place some of the chopped cranberries on top, if you're looking for a complete meal, try my salmon burger recipe right here. They make the perfect combo. I hope you enjoyed learning the science behind broccoli salad, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot when you do. See you in the next video. Add a little more dressing. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs>